Hi guys and welcome to the Savvy Professor and in today's video we are going to find out how to export Airtable to Google Sheets. For this open any browser on your PC. So for example I'm opening Chrome and in the search bar type in Zapier and hit enter. After that click on zapier.com get started and here type in your email or click on continue if you have already created a Zapier account. If you haven't created a Zapier account, click on sign up as a different person. Click on sign up as a different person and use your work email or continue with Google, sign up with Google if you want and log in to zapier.com. So using Zapier, we'll be connecting our Airtable with Google Sheets and downloading all the data and exporting all the data from Airtable to Google Sheets. So Zapier serves the functions of that. So after logging in, you will see a page that looks something like this. So this is basically Zapier's dashboard. We have the option for zaps, transfer, tables, interface and much more. So here we can see that in order to connect our Google Sheets with Airtable, you will have to first click on transfers, then click on new transfer. After that, you will see this option that says move data one time or move data on a fixed schedule. So if you want to move your data one time to catch up a system that's fallen out of sync, Choose this option and if you want to move your data daily, weekly or monthly based on preset filters, you can choose this option. So click on any one of these options. For example, I'm choosing move data one time because I want to export my Airtable to Google Sheets one time. So here we can see that if you want to create a first transfer, first you'll have to connect your apps, then select data to move and click on transfer data and transfer your data from one app to another. So click on create new transfer option here. And here in the select source option, click on it and choose Airtable from this. After that, select the source data. For example, I'm selecting record. And in the select destination option, you will have to type in Google Sheets and select Google Sheets because we are basically trying to export our data from Airtable to Google Sheets. So in the destination action, you will have to choose which action you prefer. So I want to export my spreadsheet row. And then I will click on next. After that, we will see this page. Here, we'll have to connect our Airtable account. Click on connect. And this will open up a Google browser where you will see a pop-up appearing something like this. Click on add a base and choose the workspace in which your data is located that you want to export. So I'm selecting this one and click on grant access. So basically choose any of the project that you're working on. Click on grant access and click on next. After you click on next, select your data source. So I'm choosing the base to be marketing campaign, the table to be campaigns and limit to view. By choosing this, you will add a specific view and return records in the view order. So click on it and select a view that you have created in a project. So this is my project basically, and I'm selecting this view, see all campaigns. So I'll select see all campaigns and then include file contents. You can select true, false or enter a custom value according to your project. So I'm selecting true. So this field basically returns an extra file fields with file contents. Set this field to yes if you have trouble with Airtable file URL expiring and also file contents greater than 100 MB will cause errors. Click on next after filling out all these fields and this will basically get all the data from Airtable to Google Sheets. And now you will have to connect your Google Sheets Click on connect your account and select an email and then click on next after connecting your Google Sheets. And here you will have to choose a value. For example, the drive, click on my Google Drive, the spreadsheet, for example, enter a custom value and you can select any one of these. I'm selecting results. Now select sheet one in the worksheet and you can select the row. After that, click on next after filling out all the information for your Google spreadsheet. And if you want to update your spreadsheet row, select any one of these, map it and click on looks good if everything fits. So here we can see that we have limited records and our current plan only allows us to view 100 most recent records. To view more records, upgrade your Zapier plan. Click on upgrade plan and you'll be able to see plans and pricing for your Zapier. If you don't want to upgrade, leave it. And here we can see that we have successfully exported our Airtable to Google Sheets. This is all the sheets and all those items that were present in my project. 
and you can also go to your Google Sheets where you have downloaded it. Just log into Google Sheets using your account email that you have added on Zapier and you'll be able to view everything that you have exported. So that's how you can export your Airtable to Google Sheets. Like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.